think uh, the biggest concerns are the advances in technology and how it impacts internal controls. Uh, think about it, uh, cloud applications. So now you have users in large organizations especially that are able to access business applications in the cloud outside of their traditional on-premise ERP system. So how do, you, how do you manage their access and make sure the segregation of duties are still uh, being enforced? Uh, an, another one is, you may have heard of uh, robotic process automation. It's where you're able to automate some very low-level processes. But again, how do you restrict access for these bots and, and how do you monitor the, the, their activity? And finally, the, the, you know, the big one too, you know, blockchain. Uh, where you're able to more efficiently uh, process uh, payments, but how are you ensuring that you have adequate uh, controls over those transactions? So those are all some examples that are, I think, challenging uh, to, to senior executives. For the most part, yes. Uh, the, the, the initial wave of uh, SOX compliance and their traditional GRC governance risk and compliance tools kind of took care of the uh, internal control environment and uh, what uh, access rights and access governance. But what they're finding is that um, it's still lagging a bit when it comes to the actual review and assessment process. Again, think about it. Uh, Companies have multiple ERP systems, hundreds of business applications, thousands of users. It's very complex and, and to be able to, uh, to track and monitor is, is, is uh, kind of that last mile in terms of technology and automation. And, and integrated risk management solutions are, are what are being implemented now to kind of ad address that part of the overall uh, process. I think it depends on the level of maturity in the organization. The, the most mature organizations are using technology to automate the not only the uh, uh, compliance and governance part of it, but the review and assessment uh, part of it. Uh, and if you think about it, automation frees up uh, the resources. You save a lot of time and money spent on manual activities. Uh, and those resources can now be used on higher value uh, uh, exercises in internal controls. Uh, for example, uh, revenue recognition, tax accounting, um, uh, asset and liability evaluations, those are things you really can't automate. And by the way, those are the things where you have most material weaknesses being reported. And for the business, think about it, the less time they spend on compliance activities, the more time they can spend on running the business. They need to use technology to their advantage. Um, as we said before about cloud applications, having enterprise-wide visibility to what users are doing. Uh, also being able to look at 100% of transactions rather than using sample sizes. And being able to put a dollar value on any exceptions that you do find. So you can set materiality limits. Is it a $10,000 exception or a $10 million exception? By doing so, you allow the business process owners to more quickly and efficiently prioritize the, the exceptions that they need to address and quickly disposition them and move on to other things. By doing so, you have the added byproduct of not only looking at internal controls over financial reporting, but controls over the business as well. And you're able to bring risk management and performance improvement to the business.